This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. A laugh spread from my lips before I could stop it. My father had just fed her to the shadows. Her order had emerged, and her body had been turned into a conduit for the dark power he'd stolen from the shadow realm. And yet she was still biting at me. I caught hold of her without thinking about it and dragged her into my arms, crushing her against my chest. My heart leapt as she pressed her cold hands to my skin, and I kissed the top of her head as relief spilled through me. She should have died. What my father had just done to them should have been more than they could take. But here she was, wrapped in my arms, and... Power slammed into me with the force of a battering ram, and I was thrown backwards across the room before crashing into the wall so hard that the whole treehouse trembled. Pain echoed through my spine, and I shoved myself upright, a snarl leaving my lips as shadows danced across my vision for a moment. My lip curled back, and a low growl escaped me as the dark power beneath my flesh ached to be set loose. Shadows licked their way between my fingers as they sprang free of my flesh, awaiting my desires with a hungry craving which set me alight from the inside out. Don't give in to them, Darius, Lance shouted, and the call of his voice was enough to pull me back from the darkness. I blinked the shadows away and felt the power of them slipping from my grasp. What was that for? I demanded of Roxy as she glared at me, her hands still raised as power coiled around her. Don't touch me, she growled, her eyes filled with more venom than her words. I... You have to know I didn't set you up, I said, shaking my head, as I realized she was blaming me for what my father had just done to them. I fought against him. I tried to get you away from him. I... Yeah, you did, she agreed. Until you didn't, and you just let him have us. He had Xavier. I replied desperately, my heart pounding unevenly as I took in the rage in her. She had to know that it had broken me to watch my father push her into that pit. It had felt like carving into my own heart with a rusty knife and offering up a piece of my soul for him. But the alternative had been Xavier's life. It was no choice. But I knew she was strong. I'd known she could survive anything, and even though it had killed me to watch him do that to her, I hadn't had any other option that I could choose. I know, she replied, her gaze softening for a moment, and I could tell she really did understand that much. She'd do anything for her sister, too. That's the only reason I haven't burned you alive. Red and blue flames flickered between her fingers, and Lance moved to stand between us. The fight went out of Roxy, and she hooked another T-shirt and a pair of sweatpants out of the trunk for her sister, moving across the room to hand them to her. Gwendolina turned her back on us before dropping the blue robe, and I looked away so that she could get dressed in privacy. Lance shifted closer to me, and as I looked into his eyes, a shadow slid across them before fading away again. I swallowed thickly, feeling the shadows beneath my skin, too. They were a part of me now, and the most terrifying thing about that was how easily they sat there, like I'd always had space for such darkness in me, and they were just coming to claim their place. I chewed on the inside of my cheek and strode away from them, crossing the wide living room before opening a drawer in the kitchen and pulling out the atlas I kept here. I sent a message to Xavier, asking if he was all right, what had happened to Mother, all of it. It wasn't enough but I knew father wouldn't hurt him now. He might have been willing to kill him to force my cooperation in his quest for the shadows, but killing his own son wasn't something he could easily get away with. He wouldn't do it for no reason. I could only hope that mother was okay and that he'd be able to call me soon. You got very lucky when Lionel mistook your order forms, Lance said to the girls, and I looked over at them with a frown. What do you mean he got it wrong? I asked before either of them could respond. When the girls had reared out of the shadows and sprouted wings of flame before leaping into the sky, my heart had almost beat a path right out of my chest. They were so bright against the black canvas of stars that it had been hard to make out the details of their forms. But I'd seen those red and blue flames and huge wings like they were two angels set alight by their power. Fire harpies. 
rare but not unheard of, even more powerful than their more common cousins, but not strong enough to challenge a dragon.